Hi students, it's Shayna, your teacher from EspressoEnglish.net, and today I'd like to teach you the phrasal verb stick around. Before I start today's lesson, I wanted to tell you that if you're interested in learning more phrasal verbs, I have a course called Phrasal Verbs in Conversation, and you can actually take a free sample lesson so you can see exactly what's in this course. You can click on the link in this video or in the uh, description of the video for the free sample. I hope you'll enjoy it. Let's learn what it means to stick around. I have three possible definitions on the board and only one of them is correct. So I'll tell you a little story or give you a situation where we would use the phrasal verb stick around and you need to try to guess the correct answer, A, B, or C. So when I was a child, I would go to church with my family. It was my parents and my brother and I. And after the service was over, my parents liked to stick around and socialize. They had a lot of friends at the church, and so they would stick around for maybe 20 or 30 minutes after the service was over. Well, my brother and I, we didn't want to stick around, so we would usually ask for the house key and then walk home from church. We could do that because the church was right in the same neighborhood as our house. So my parents stuck around for 20 or 30 minutes after the service, but my brother and I, we didn't stick around. We came home instead. So based on this situation, what do you think it means to stick around? Does it mean A, to offer help, B, to stay in a place, or C, talk to a lot of people? You can post your answer in the comments, and in just a moment, I will tell you which one's the correct definition. Stick around means B, stay in a place. So in the situation I described, uh, my parents would stick around. They would stay at church even after the service was over because they wanted to socialize with their friends. But stick around doesn't mean to socialize. Stick around just means to stay in that place. I remember this phrasal verb very well because when I went to Brazil for the first time, this was before I was an English teacher. I was just a student and I actually went to an English class so that the Brazilian students could talk with the native speaker. And after the class, they were going to do another activity. I think they were going to go to a museum or something like that. And the teacher asked me, oh, would you like to join us for uh, this next activity? And I replied, yeah, I think I'll stick around for a while. And a lot of the students looked at me like, what does that mean, stick around? And I quickly uh, explained that stick around means to stay in this uh, situation or stay with the group of students. You can also use stick around not just for staying in a physical place, but in a situation like I just described, staying in a situation or staying with a person. For example, if you have a friend who has had bad luck in romantic relationships, then you might say she's had a lot of boyfriends in her life, but none of them have stuck around. That means none of the boyfriends have stayed with her or stayed in that relationship. I hope this helps you understand what it means to stick around. Why don't you go ahead and try to use it in your own sentence? Post a comment under this video and try to use the phrasal verb stick around. And again, if you'd like to take a sample lesson from the phrasal verbs in conversation course, the sample lesson is exactly what you're going to get in the course. It will be a dialogue that will teach you between 15 and 20 phrasal verbs and then some uh, a quiz and some exercises for you to put them into practice. That's all for today's lesson. Bye!